back to our tech. Today we review the tiny digital microscope with 1000x magnification. So got this on Amazon for about 1500 rupees and it comes in this neat blue themed box. You would have seen these kind of microscopes on uh, online and uh, they come under various brand names but they look the same. This one's called the Lippy World USB Microscope with uh, 1000x magnification. It's portable, has 8 LEDs and uh, uses an endoscope camera magnifier with stand. Uses USB to kind of transfer you know the images it takes and then gives you a display of that so it's got uh, some basic specs here let's have a look so a CMOS sensor captures pics at about 2560 by 1920 uh, pixel resolution uh, captures video as well 640 by 480 up to 30 frames a second it's got 15 mm to 40 mm focus range and it has eight LEDs to help brighten the subject. So some of the common uses of this microscope are to kind of look at skin closely, look at hair, insects, possibly PCBs. If you have good small circuits, you want to zoom up and look at those. You can look at jewelry, stamps, a currency, and anything else that is really small and need a little bit of magnification on it. So let's quickly go ahead and open this. So inside we have a solid metal strand uh, stand. I mean, once you take out these plastics, you see that it's got this nice steel I initially thought this was plastic, but it's actually a metal stand, probably plated with chrome. And it's really heavy and it looks good. It makes it really feel nice, expensive. And it's got a locking mechanism. So a very simple stand. But there's a microscope. We we'll just keep this aside. There's a driver CD. Obviously, uh, there's a lot of images and pictures going to and fro, so it has a CD. Now uh, there's a cover of some sort. And there's a calibration kind of a sticker or a scale maybe just to help you look at how this thing works I'm not sure okay let's have a look at what else we have here we have four items already and the microscope so the main device now this is built well good quality plastic in the front you would see that it doesn't have any kind of a glass lens or anything directly shows you the number of LEDs there, about 8 LEDs and there's a small tiny hole, I think that's the CMOS sensor directly inside. You also have an adjusting knob on the side. So this is to kind of uh, focus uh, or maybe it's the zoom, you kind of uh, have 1000x magnification so you can play around with that. It's got a snap button on one side and it's got the zoom button, so I think you can zoom uh, this again digitally zoom the image to about six times and you can also click snaps of whatever you're seeing so it's also got a small notch I think that's where uh, the stand gets into place and holds this thing it's pretty fairly simple to assemble so all you got to do now is just plug this into a USB outlet so um, just do that let's also uh, install the device driver for this because I think without the driver, Windows is not going to recognize this. So once you connect it to the USB, it kind of powers up the LED on it. So I'm just going to show you basically how I installed this on my computer. It's very simple. I haven't got a high you know, clarity version to show you how exactly each file looks here. But yeah, this is how the screen looks. I mean, anybody can do it. Uh, install .NET driver only if you need it. I'm only installing the basic drivers. And you can also use this with your Android phone, they claim. I haven't tried it, but if you have a OTG cable, you can connect that and you can use this on your phone directly. So that's cool too. Okay, the installation process is pretty simple. It takes about, I think about three, four minutes max. 
So let's start using this thing. I mean, the first thing I actually scanned was uh, a piece of cloth that's used for cleaning spectacles. And I was really amazed. Look at the amount of zoom it has. I wanted to show you how exactly this is done. I mean, I just kept the cloth right in front of the microscope and it gave me a good image. Then I took a coin, kind of started looking closely at it and it was nice it, it just takes a little bit of effort to kind of get that focus but once you do you'll be able to see some amazing things then i took a leaf again took some time to focus but once you do that you get the kind of details that your eyes cannot actually catch and it was amazing i mean you could literally see through the leaf it's amazing i don't know are those cells i'm not sure maybe chlorophyll <laughs> so kids are really going to love this device i mean if you have multiple things around your house which they can probably just keep below this microscope and just run through and see how they look every surface is going to be different and this is going to be an amazing thing for them and just remember this device has an additional 6x zoom and you know let's look at something more organic what about the skin on your fingers oh my god so that's that's the skin that's how the skin looks i mean it's pretty scary and those are hair Wow, they're actually shining. And look at the skin. I mean, it, it's so clear. And those hair strands look really scary on your hand. Okay, and just looking at the fingerprints. And it, it showed me more than just fingerprints. I mean, I could literally see through my skin. And, you know, my favorite of all these is the cloth fiber. I mean, it's, it's so clear. There's so much of dirt in between them, which you can't see with your regular eyes. But when you actually look through, and this was amazing too. I just put this directly on my table and that's what I saw. This is a particle boat table. You can look at the amount of glue they're using. It's, it's just crazy. Now you can try putting anything you want under this microscope. I tried some of the other things. Here's a flower, which kind of shows clearly, you know, some of the parts which you learn in biology and you you have these parts of the flower and it's so clearly visible under this microscope so i think this is the part where you say the stigma stigmata i kind of forgot all this but yeah this this brings back old memories and you also have an led module this is a really tiny unit it's probably the size of a you know ball pen this light module and it's so clearly visible Here's a ball pen, which was actually looking as dirty as this. <laughs> the tip of the pen was actually dabbed in ink and then I just kind of wiped it. And this is how it looked after that. There you go. It's so clear. And then finally, a headphone jack. In fact, it's the headphone pin. And look at the amount of wear and tear it's having on the sides. When you look at it, it just looks so simple, but it goes through a lot. And here's a rubber band which is stretched. And this is how it looks under the microscope again. Pretty neat, right? It gives you a good image. It isn't very, very clear, but yeah, I mean, you can see things. So all in all, you know, for about 1500 rupees, you get microscope, which is about 1000x zoom. You do get more powerful versions, 1600x version. I really don't know if it makes sense, but you know, there, there are cheaper options as well. 800x, there's 500x. But I thought this was a good balance between cost and performance. So I picked this up. It's very useful for school kids. And if kids want to do some small projects, this is really useful. And I highly recommend this product. So that's my short review on the digital microscope uh, which runs on your USB or your smartphone. Please do hit the like button if you like the video. If you don't, please uh, leave a comment, dislike the video, no problem. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching our tech again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.